Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a weekly horoscope for zodiac signs and this is for you coming from Sagittarius and it's for the month of June, precisely the 1st of June to the 10th of June. So let's start with the 1st of June. Now, the 1st of June for you in Sagittarius starts very well. It's a Thursday and so this Thursday morning and afternoon period, you are in demand and whatever you want people listen to, you have the aura of doing very well. So in your career, job areas, you will do well and get good news in the morning afternoon session. And then in the areas of uh, business, you will also attract good news. And with your marriage partner, romance partner, go for lunch and you will be very happy with them as well. But the evening and nightfall session, there are two very slow, slow planets who don't do well in Sagittarius. They move slowly. So watch out that your appointments for the evening and night time may be cancelled or postponed. Or you may just get some negative news about why there is difficulty in being able to do what you already planned for the evening and nightfall session. And if you do carry on uh, with your plan, you may find that uh, the result of being with your business partners or business people or with your uh, job people or with your boss is going to bring some disappointment to another. There is a delay of good information coming for you. So I rather that you uh, don't socialize too much and go home. If you are going out with your marriage or romance partner or family people in the evening nighttime period, be careful that past issues can be brought up or past instances can be brought up and these will not, this will not be good for you it will make you unhappy or you may meet somebody from your past and that will make you unhappy as well. So I rather you be very cautious in the evening nightfall session if in your marriage or romance area you decide to go um, uh, socializing. Even at home these planets are not going to leave you alone and these two planets will try and instigate problems. So take the soft approach, be passive don't be aggressive and the time will pass. The 2nd of June is a much, much better day. It starts very well. Yes, there are emotional planets there. So emotional areas are crowding you. So you got to use more logic and facts and figures to get ahead at your place of work. It's a Friday. So you are working either at a job or you are in business. So don't allow these emotional planets to give you emotional thinking like dreamlike and hoping for the moon. No, stick to facts and figures and that way you will become very realistic and start to do better in your morning afternoon sessions. Some changes will be made during the day period but it's quite okay. Be prepared for that. The evening and nightfall sessions are also very good. In fact, better than the earlier day session. Only thing that one of these planets can make you very aggressive in your approach. This is by like showing your temper or by being too overly determined in wanting to get what you want or the way you want things to be done. So take the soft approach for the whole day, especially evening and nightfall session and you will start to do much, much better. So it's a pretty good 2nd of June. Enjoy it. The 3rd of June is another fantastically good day, in fact even better. And the 3rd, which means the morning and afternoon sessions are going to be very lucky for you. It's a Saturday and if you are working, you will find plenty of good news there. If you are in business, well, plenty of good news comes your way. If you are at home with your marriage partner, romance partner or your family, you are also going to be very happy. Only one bit of advice is, one of these planets can make you very dominating and want to take charge and control over every situation. Don't allow that. Allow others to also put their input and allow them to take charge as well. That way you will have a wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, early evening period on 3rd of June. The late evening, the evening, late evening and nightfall period are also good. You are in demand, meaning that there is a center of attraction about you. And so, if you are looking for romance, you can find it quite easily. If you are out with your marriage partner on this Saturday, then you will also be very happy as everybody will look up to you. If you are going to go out with your job people or your boss, 
is also a very good idea. They will also look up to you. And if you are going to invite your business people, you, there's every possibility of meeting somebody very important in business as well or to be introduced to. So a very nice ending and a very lucky one. The 4th of June starts very poorly. There are planets who are very erratic. So get ready with plans changing, disappointments, cancellations, postponements, morning and afternoon session. Your own behavior will be of a rebellious type. You'll want to do things very differently. So try not to allow all this. Otherwise, you're going to bring many upsets in the morning and afternoon period. It's a Sunday, but some of you work. So if you're working, be very careful. Mistakes can be made, which will be costly. And if you're at home or if you're out socializing, whether with romance partner, marriage partner, family people, then you tell yourself morning and afternoon session, I must not be rebellious. I must respect traditional values. I must not change the plans made by others. That's very important. I like your evening and nightfall session. But my worry is that the morning afternoon planets who are so rebellious, they may attack your emotional planets of the evening nightfall session. So you have to be cautious. These planets don't just disappear. But I like your evening and nightfall planets and they show a lot of bonding and a lot of togetherness and they, they take the soft approach. So it could be that the period of the evening and nightfall will soften. But no harm, remind yourself, I must not be rebellious. The 5th of June starts very poorly for you. And many mistakes, it's a Monday. So you may be at your workplace or in business. And so plenty of bad luck planets are there, three of them. Morning, afternoon and even evening period, you can make mistakes. Blame can come, miscommunication, miscalculation, differences causing arguments, Ooh, and even a danger of accidents in the morning, afternoon and evening periods. The later part of the evening and nightfall periods improves a lot. So you can probably find solutions at that time where earlier in the day you couldn't find. And you will also meet people in the late evening and nightfall session who are more helpful to you morning, afternoon, evening session at work or anywhere, you'll find that whoever you are dealing with, there is always a problem cropping up. So you need to lower your profile. Don't expose yourself to risk in any way. June the 6th is not as bad as the 5th of June, but it's not good. Not good in the sense that your ego is indented, you're not very happy. Emotional planets are causing a sadness of some kind and disappointment. This is the morning afternoon session period I'm talking about. So it's a working day, Tuesday. And so in your place of work, you cannot afford to be uh, showing a low tolerance for others. You cannot afford to be arrogant. Otherwise, the 6th of June, morning and afternoon period will turn very poor for you and you won't get very far. And even in your personal areas of romance or marriage, difficulties arise. There are differences of opinion very fast they come about. So be careful how you talk to the people you love. Evening and nightfall period doesn't improve. In fact, it adds to the problem. And now these planets are fast. And so they can bring accidents or they can bring difficulties in relationships of all kind. And even business partnerships, it's a working day, Tuesday. Business partnerships or partnerships in your place of work or with your boss, things are going to become pretty bad in the evening and nightfall session. I'd rather you don't go socializing because even a danger of accident is possible. 7th of June starts beautifully for you and you are so much supported at your place of work, good news comes. And you have so many good possibilities in business where good news comes as well. And you are riding very high morning, afternoon and evening session. And so go all out secure if you're looking for a new job, this is the day that you must apply or you must go for appointments. If you're happy with your old job, you are going to be even happier on this 7th of June, getting so much good news. And uh, evening period and nightfall, I don't like. These planets can bring accidents, they can bring differences, they can bring difficulties. And if you are socializing from around after 6 p.m. onwards, watch out that either the company you keep or the people you are going to be with, disagreeability will be coming very bad. And so it takes you to the height of problems. 
and that's why I worry even accidents are possible. So if you don't have to socialize, just go home, just keep it quiet. And if you are with your marriage people and family people and romance partner at home, do not instigate anything. It's your partner probably will start to create the problems. And so you just listen, stay calm, tell yourself the next day is another day with different planets who might help me. All right. 8th of June. 8th of June, <laughs> well, it's not going to help you very much. The 8th of June starts morning and afternoon period, very dreary, very boring, no help coming, plans are changing or they are being cancelled and appointments are being disappointing you. And so morning, afternoon period is very slow. You are waiting for news and there are delays and that news is not coming. So patience is now the key word. Patience is the key word in the sense that if you are too pushy, you might provoke something. So at your place of work, in your business areas, wait and see. If you provoke something, bad news will come because you are going to force it to come. And even with your marriage partner, romance partner, do not be too pushy. If there is anything that's not of an unhappy state, leave it. Leave it quiet. Okay. The evening period also doesn't help you very much. So the evening period, I rather that you don't socialize. It shows a wastage of money. It shows that your ego is going to be dented. It shows that the, the, the whatever you want to happen positively will not happen positively. So I rather you don't try and socialize and try to go home and keep it uh, keep your exposure to risk low. And even if you're at home and if of course with your romance partner or marriage partner or family people, the irritation will continue. So you've got to be prepared for this entire 8th of June is very troublesome. June the 9th, uh, June the 9th for you coming from Sagittarius turns to become very good. It brings very good possibilities morning, afternoon and evening. It's a Friday, so you'll be at work or conducting business. You'll be very lucky. You'll have the spirit of determination. Only try not to show your temper. Temper comes when you're over determined to get something and when you don't, then of course you get angry and the temper is shown. So don't allow the temper to be shown. And you are going to be successful morning, afternoon, evening and night period. Evening, evening and night period, you could be already on holiday or you will be talking or planning about holidays or travel. And also, you could meet somebody from another country or somebody of another race other than yours. And all this is very positive. So you become very lucky morning, noon and night. Socialize, take, go out with your loved ones and go out with your business people and if you don't have anybody else invite your boss or your colleagues and you're going to not only enjoy yourself but get very good results as well the 10th of june the 10th of june starts very nicely for you and you are getting good news about reward or recognition you are getting good news about support it's a saturday some of you will work on a saturday and you will get the news from there Otherwise, at home with your loved one, your marriage partner and your children or with your romance partner, there's a lot of possibility of nice bonding together. You are being looked up to. Whatever you want is being accepted beautifully. Morning, afternoon and early evening period. The night period slows down. It's a Saturday and you probably want to go out. But be prepared that the plans can change or disappointment or cancellation or some kind of bad news comes in the evening and nightfall period and be prepared for it and if you are prepared of course you can you are ready to accept it and you have other plans treat the day like this very slow planets are seen so whatever you want like if you are looking for a romance on this evening and nightfall period of the 10th it's going to be a drag you'll never get the answer you want and so you will end up very frustrated and disappointed and this is that kind of a day, Saturday. So if you don't need to socialize, don't. Just go home and be together. That's good enough. All right? Well, that's my prediction for you. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute Skype session. And included there, um, I will be working on your date of birth and time of birth and looking at your palms. And I will for the next five or six years predict in detail what can happen to you 
and I will also look at your face because the face is a map and I'll be reading you on Skype as well when I look at your face. I may use Kabbalistic tarot cards if I want or if you want as well. Do go to Facebook and look me up and uh, follow me and we, we can communicate on Facebook and that way you can ask me questions and we can make a date to Skype or go to Skype itself and leave me a message and I'll come back to you. Until then, thank you and good luck.